Where are we going this weekend, buddy? I'm gonna head to Richmond, BC. Yes, did you know that the Vancouver Airport is actually in Richmond? No. Well, it is. And did you know that Daddy grew up in Richmond? Yes. We're gonna go and see my old house. We're gonna go and see the first McDonald's in Canada where Daddy worked. <laughs> we are gonna have some wild food. We're gonna climb some big walls. We're gonna go and see where the Olympics were held in Richmond. And uh, we're gonna explore a side of a town I grew up in that uh, I haven't seen in about 15 to 20 years. Whoa, that's amazing. In the meantime, yeah. we're sitting on the floor. Yeah. Playing iPads. Yeah. We're here. We're in Richmond. Ah! Do you know that this airport was ranked the number one airport in the whole world? What the heck? It's beautiful. And here's the other thing about this airport. The hotel's built in. Let's go check it out. We are outside Java Dog at the uh, outlets near the airport. Charlie, is it good? I'd show you my cruel wood at Terry Mayo, but um, I ate it. This place is so awesome, guys. It started with one cart outside uh, the Place Hotel in downtown Vancouver, and half a dozen food courts and these food carts. These guys are some of the greatest, and it's here in Richmond. Japa Dog and fries, apparently. Okay, Richmond is filled with uh, strip malls and around random corners you'll find wonderful things. This place is called Exit. It's a virtual reality gaming place that has dragons. All right, so now we are at the uh, Richmond Oval. This was where they had the Olympics in 2010, and now they've turned it into a recreational facility that has huge rock climbing walls. Look how tall they are. This is the long track speed skating facility that they've turned into a couple of rinks, about a dozen basketball courts and some other sport courts, and there's a fitness facility up there. And then the rock walls here. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's why you're here. Go, Charlie, go! Hey! This is the Richmond Olympic Experience, an interactive exhibit at the Olympic Oval that has you doing bobsledding, wow. sit skiing, and all sorts of cool things with some great Olympic artifacts. Back in the day, Richmond used to be called Ditchmond because there were these everywhere in Richmond. Ditches would line the roads. I mean, it's below sea level. You needed to get it out somehow, right? Well, every now and again, when it would get cold in the winter, this ditch right next to Dolphin Park this ditch would freeze and I'd play hockey on it. I used to play hockey here when I was a kid in Richmond. Now this is my house. When I was 10 years old, I lived there. This is where I used to program video games. I was living room. That was my sister's bedroom there. My bedroom was on the back and there was no fence there back in the day. But that's the old house, 8700 Ashbrook Court.
As we continue this random tour of Richmond, taking you to places where I was when I was a kid, how about this one? First McDonald's in Canada. Crew member of the month, July 1985. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dinner time in Richmond. Uh, the dumpling trail is what they call it. Everybody has weird dumplings and noodles and a whole bunch of signs I can't read. Except this one, Samsuni noodles and rice and ramen and dumplings. We're getting some Korean food in Richmond. Let's go. Day two and it's that kind of day in Richmond. It's gonna be wet, right? Uh, I am on Alexandra Road. This is also known as Food Street. You can get everything from Japanese to Thai to Shanghai to Beijing. You can have all you can eat, izakaya, hot pot, barbecue, Korea. Ugh. This is crazy. Over 200 restaurants crammed into tiny little strip malls. This is the thing about Richmond. It's, it's nondescript strip malls everywhere you go. And then you find these little nooks and crannies of awesomeness. So 200 restaurants over four blocks. This is Food Street. Richmond is an island and it's actually lower than sea level. If the big one ever comes, that place is flooding. But it's got dikes surrounding it, which are fabulous to go running. You can get 10, 12, 15 kilometers of uh, running on the dikes. I used to live out here in Terra Nova, which is in the northwest corner of Richmond and I used to run here all the time. It's spectacular. Steveson Docks, dad would come here as a kid all the time, pick us up some crab and some prawns. Love this place. All right, right off the boat. And you can't not go to Steveson without having fish and chips. You get it right from the dock and get yourself some chowder. sorts of interesting places to go shopping in Steveston. Georgia Cannery. Let's go find out inside what used to happen here back in the day. Shopping in Richmond is fun. There's unique things around every corner. We're in a mall called Aberdeen, and uh, it's like a mini Asia. It's like being in Hong Kong or Tokyo or Seoul and finding goofy little surprises around every corner, including this place, Daiso. It's a Japanese dollar store. Let's go look and see what's inside. Now we're heading home. It was uh, three days in Richmond where we climbed walls, yeah, ate all the things, saw some pretty cool uh, sights, yeah, pretty much. went shopping, yeah, not that much. ran around the airport, <laughs> and had a lot of fun. I grew up in Richmond and uh, I saw a different side to my hometown today and I hope you can come and visit too, right? Yep. Yeah.